don't know what's going on with this hair right now. It's not cooperating, and I just don't know what to do. What is that? It looks like a broom. Hi guys, welcome back. So today I have a, a review video for you guys. As you can tell from the title, it's going to be on the new look uh, flawless foundation and contour stick. Now, I probably do look like a wreck right now, but that's because I've just come back home from uni. But I just really, really wanted to get this video up for you guys because I've been wearing it for like a two, three, day, three days now. Um, and I just wanted to let you guys know what I think about it. You guys did see me wear this in the new look first impression video, which I will link in the info box if you guys want to check that out. But I've been wearing this and it's... God, I'm actually really, really surprised about it. And by the way, follow me on Snapchat because I do kind of like random snaps and I let you guys know about products and I just do random things as well. But I was talking about it um, in the past couple of days. So um, so yeah, make sure to follow me on Snapchat right somewhere down here. Um, but I've been using this. This is what it looks like, by the way. I kind of dented it by accident, but it's very, very good, actually. So this foundation is 4 dollars I'm in the shade Natural Tan. I will go through the pros and the cons, um, but I will also insert a clip of me applying it from the previous video so you guys can see how it blends and all that stuff. It blends very, very easily. It's, uh, it has a really nice, sweet scent to it. I don't know, it's like it smells like a sweet. Not too much, but it has that very, very subtle sweet scent in there, which I actually kind of like, to be honest. And coverage, amazing. I feel like if you use a little bit, you'll get like a medium coverage, but if you double up, it will be more on the fuller side. It has a nice dewy finish on it to it, and it's not drying at all. So I like to work with it with a brush, because I just feel like with any stick foundation, I just feel like it blends better with a brush. I haven't tried it with this sponge to be honest, but I don't think it will blend that well with a sponge. I just can't work with stick foundations with a sponge, so I always use a brush. But anyways, yeah, it blends very, very easily, covers really, really well. It does go a bit grey around my mouth area, as you saw in the first impression video with all the other makeup. But when I colour correct, it looks absolutely 100% fine. So the pro pros are is that you get good coverage, smells nice, it's very dewy hydrating I would say. If you apply the skin tone you can definitely use this to contour. There's two lighter shades so if you're lucky to, enough to have your colour in those two shades then definitely try it out. If you're a bit deeper than me you can definitely try and use the lighter colours to, to maybe use under the eyes or to highlight areas of your face which would be really nice because it's actually very hydrating um, but it's not to the point where it makes me look greasy or oily so even if you have combination oily skin I would still maybe say it would be fine for you. It's very very affordable, $4.99 is amazing. Another pro is that you get a lot of product in here so this will last me ages and it's just very easy to, to just wear, to be honest. It's just really affordable and really easy. And if you're looking for a very cheap foundation, I would definitely recommend this one. However, there are some cons, well, a couple actually, just not too many. Um, and one thing is that it does give me smile lines. Now, I have very deep smile lines because I obviously have very big cheeks and I smile a lot, I would say. So it's a good thing, but I do get these lines and a lot of foundations a lot of foundations do give it to me but some do it much much less than others and this definitely gives me smile lines which I absolutely hate but I when I do set it with powder it kind of dims it down um, for example I have worn this to the uni today and I did find myself maybe I would say four to five times today I was going like this and I was kind of bothering my friends when I was like I've got smile lines but yeah it does give you smile lines so if you have smile lines you're gonna get them with this foundation but yeah if you set it with powder it will kind of dim it down and it won't be as obvious and I've had this since what nine o'clock this morning it's on pretty well like, look at that. It's just so flawless. And I'm so surprised about this foundation. Another con about it is that there's only three shades. So it doesn't really give the chance to many people to use it. And I think that's why they may have put contour stick in there. So maybe that's an excuse for not having that many shades. Um, so that it can be used for contouring. But I think if it's a foundation, they definitely need um, more shades. Especially if it's a good one. Like, it's a shame because not everyone would be able to try it out and I'm just absolutely lucky for it to be exactly my colour in the darkest one and I am definitely not the darkest person out there. Um, so yeah, that's definitely a big con for me because shade range is very, very important to me and I think they definitely should improve in that. So if you're watching you look, if you could improve on this one, it would be really great because I definitely want you guys to try this because so many of you want... I get so many messages from you guys asking about really cheap affordable foundations and I've actually found one like this is not bad I'm not bothered like it's a 4 dollars foundation you're not it's not going to be perfect so 
I think with all those pros, I think it's so worth it. Sorry if you can hear my dog walking throughout this video. I know it can be the most annoying thing ever, but she doesn't listen. Okay, so yeah, there's but literally those two cons, the shade range and the smile lines. And apart from that, that's it. It doesn't dry me out. Let me zoom in for you guys. I'm surprised of how good it looks right now. Like, that is not bad for a full 99 foundation. And even the smile lines right now, they're not that bad. But that's of me going like that a lot today. <laughs> um, but everywhere else, it looks absolutely stunning. Um, products build upon it very, very well, even though I don't even set with a powder. Like, my bronzer doesn't go on patchy or anything like that. Um, it has a nice, a bit of a glow to it, I would say. Or maybe that's because of my moisturiser, but it's... Definitely when you feel it, it's more of that creamy. When you blend it, it's more of that creamy feel. Like it has that wet, creamy feel to it. And you can tell that's exactly my skin tone. So even if you look at it now, you can see that it's a bit dewy, even on the stick. But yeah, I think that's all I have to say about it. It's very, very good. Like I would definitely recommend this to anyone because once the foundation goes under 10 pounds, I get a bit skeptical about it. I just don't know if it will work, but I've been super, super surprised about this one and I've been going out around to everyone's like, I'm wearing a new lip foundation right now. It's five pounds. Um, I'm just so happy that I found like a really, really cheap foundation that I can recommend you guys because it's actually really good and I've even worn this today and I probably will wear it a lot because it actually makes my skin really nice. And I also get a few compliments on it when I wear it. So, which is a, a plus side to it for five pound foundation. But New Look definitely did a good job on it, but I wish they could maybe just improve on the shade range. That would be amazing. I would rate it maybe, I would actually rate it an 8 out of 10. A point down for the shade range and a point down for the smile line issue. But that's just my face really. <laughs> but yeah, that's all I have to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick review and demo. I don't even know if it will be a quick video, but I tried to point out all the key key things about this foundation. And the packaging, again, very sturdy. Doesn't feel flimsy closes properly it's just very good um but yeah thanks so much for watching guys if you have any questions about the foundation feel free to ask them in the comments below i try to answer to all your comments and questions um please also leave any makeup look suggestions that you guys want to see for valentine's day uh, i want to film some looks maybe like a dramatic pinky one and then more subtle ones but let me know what kind of coloured eyeshadow looks or things like that you want to see um that will be very very helpful don't forget to hit the thumbs up button before you go if you did enjoy this video and found it helpful uh, let me know what your thoughts are if you have tried this foundation and subscribe if you're new to my channel welcome to the family and i shall see you all next time